What's up everybody? It's your boy Jerry Wool24 back with another reaction video as usual per usual. I just got done watching the new movie House Party and I decided to react to it because that bit was so funny, bro. That bit, that bit, it beat my expectation. I ain't gonna cap, man. The cast is great. Everybody did their part. Uh, that shit was funny as fuck, man. I can't cap. That bit had me rolling the whole time. Now, you don't know, don't know what House Party is. You're not black, okay? House Party is a, a classic black movie from the 90s. Uh, they made three of them, and now this is a remake of it. And the remake was not bad. Usually a remake usually be terrible, but this is not bad. I ain't even finna cat, man. Uh, Kid and Play were actually in the movie. They had a brief scene in the movie. It should have been longer. I feel like they should have played a little bit of a, not a bigger role, maybe, because, you know, they're... They were the originals in the original movie. The originals in the real movie, that's crazy. So, I thought they would actually have a big role, but we only see that for like 30 seconds. But, Kid and Play from the 90s, and now we got the remake, like I just said. Uh, Jacob Lattimore and uh, Sashi Cole, I forgot his name, DC Youngfly. A lot of, a lot of, it was a lot of, LeBron was even in it. God darn it, it's LeBron's movie. His company produced the movie, LeBron. They throw a party in LeBron's house, try to make some money, and the party gets chaotic. Actually, the party doesn't even, well, it gets chaotic because his ring gets stolen. That's the only chaotic part, but I don't know. That nigga was tripping the whole time. Uh, Jacob Lattimore's character, he was tripping the whole time. I think his name was Kelvin. But it was a good movie. An hour and 40 minutes long. Very funny, man. Everybody was funny. I went, man, like, I was dying the whole time. Like, I was, oh my gosh, that movie was so funny. Yeah, that bit came out, like, I think two weeks ago. I don't think it's doing good in theaters. Like, originally, it was supposed to be straight to streaming services, but they put it out in theaters. Uh, Kid Cudi came into the role late, and I think that played a part in it. For whatever reason, they decided to make it theaters, and it's not doing well. It's actually bombing. It should have went to streaming service, honestly, but I enjoyed it. I think you guys will enjoy it as well because, you know, House Party is a classic. I don't get why it's a classic. Like, it, I don't know. Maybe parties were crazy more, were different back in the 90s. And uh, they do some similar things from the original one. They had the little, uh, uh, the, the little dance. I forgot. I, I don't even know what that dance is, but you know what I'm talking about, though. Uh, then the, uh, uh, you got that, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, what happened? Uh, they 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 involve social media in this one because social media was nothing back in the nineties, but social media is involved having this one. Seeing a lot of camel cows from uh, seeing Hi Davis, seeing Drewski, seeing Big Sean, seeing Maya, seeing Snoop Dogg. Like everybody's in the movie, man. Everybody's in the movie. Like I was supposed to be in the movie, but I couldn't make it. You know what I mean? Schedule conflict. You know how that be. You know how. That be. You know how the business go. But it was a very good movie, man. It was good. Like, I did not expect it to be this good. But it was, man. It actually made sense. And like I said, it was funny as fuck, bro. It's funny as fuck. Like, you could you could just feel like it's a it's, it's not a hood movie, but it's for black people. It's for niggas. You know what I mean? It's for niggas. R.P. Uh, Teddy, uh, Teddy Ray's in the movie. He died before it came out. It should did tribute to my man. R.P. Teddy Ray, that was a funny comedian. Uh, Lewis Belt was in it too. I said Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg was in that motherfucker as well. <laughs> still feeling sick, feeling congested, but I still had to let y'all know because I just got done watching this motherfucker in, bro. Like I said, I was rolling the whole time, so I'm pretty sure you guys enjoyed this movie. I think the final way I can get this movie is, uh, I'd give it 8 out of 10. I ain't even finna count. I give it 8 out of 10, man. They did their thing in this thing. I think LeBron is getting more heavy with the filming industry because he's in LA with the Lakers. So it makes no sense for him not to be doing movies or producing movies. You know, it's LeBron. He even says, I never seen LeBron call himself the GOAT. But in this movie, he is unfiltered like a motherfucker. He says, nigga, a few times. He called himself the GOAT like eight times. The fucking GOAT at eight times, bro. Like, it's he's unfiltered. So, it's cool to see the other side of LeBron, the cool side of LeBron, you know what I'm saying? This man's still going hard in the NBA. Like, this man, this man just, he is the GOAT, man. He is the GOAT without a doubt. That man getting money. That man playing basketball. He doing what he do. You feel what I'm saying? So, y'all should definitely check it out. Like I said, eight out of ten. Go 
See that motherfucker, man. I've been waiting on this one. Like, reaction videos, I think this is the one movie I always want to react to. So I'm glad I get to put this video out for y'all just to let y'all know this movie was funny. A F. You heard it here from Jerry Will 20 here. 24 first. So I appreciate y'all being here, man. It's gonna be an inner reaction video. I appreciate y'all always being here. Make sure you subscribe and like to the channel as usual. And then go to my other YouTube channel, Jerry Will 24. I got comedy skits dropping on there. And then follow me on all social media platforms. At what? Jerry Will 24. But I appreciate y'all always being here.